What up folks, it's Alex here, and I'm back again with another 5 Minute Friday. In this video, we're going to talk about frame rate, and more specifically, slow motion. Now you can't really cover slow motion without talking about frame rates, because to get good slow motion, you need to have a basic understanding of your frame rates, so it's important to talk about both. But when you know what you're doing with your frame rate, you can get some awesome slow motion in DaVinci Resolve. Now you can use slow motion for B-roll, for product shots, for making the mundane things look exciting, or just for prattling around. It's a really nice thing to be able to do, and fortunately, it's dead easy to manipulate in DaVinci Resolve. Right. Really quickly before we begin, I've invested in a nice shiny new microphone. So in the comments below, please do let me know generally how this sounds. And if you're a long time viewer, let me know if you think there's a significant improvement over my old setup. Cheers. Frame rate. If you already know about frame rates, please feel free to skip this part. If you're not too sure, we're just going to cover it really quickly and then I'm going to point you to a video which goes into much more depth about frame rate. But first of all, what is a frame rate? Video is essentially just a series of still images put together to create a moving image. Now your frame rate is the number of individual images used per one second of video footage. So 24 FPS is 24 individual images in one second of footage. Now there are two really important frame rates to think about when you're trying to do any sort of slow motion. You've got your base frame rate which is actually going to be the frame rate of your project in DaVinci Resolve and then you've got your high frame rate or your slow motion frame rate which should be considerably higher than your base frame rate. Now I record all my videos at 24 frames per second and I use 120 frames per second for my slow motion. If we play 120 frames back at 24 frames per second, that one second of 120 frames is actually going to be five seconds of 24 frames. So what we've essentially done is elongated that one second to be five seconds, so that footage is now at five times slower than real time. Now that's a super quick overview of frame rates because this is a five minute Friday video. If you need to know more, head over to this video here. It's called Video Frame Rates, What You Need To Know. It's by Brandon Lee. I will put a link in the description below. It's a 10 minute video that does exactly what it says on the tin. It gives you all the information you need to know about video frame rates. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. Now when you're dealing with any sort of slow motion footage, it's even more important that you set your project timeline frame rate to be correct. So I'm gonna click on the cog, to open up my settings and I'm going to check my timeline frame rate. Now that's important anyway, it's just super important when you're dealing with slow motion because it have a significant impact on how that slow motion footage looks within your project. Now my base frame rate is 24 so I can leave that at 24 frames per second. Then I can head to the media tab and import some media. Locate your media and import it as normal. Now what you should see is this. The clip or clips have a different frame rate than the current project settings. What that's saying is it's detected that the clips you try to import are at a different frame rate than your project frame rate. Now here you've got a quick decision to make. If you click on change, all of the video files will become 24 frames per second. So essentially they will become slow motion because it will make them fit the 24 second project timeline. Now that's fine, providing that you want all of the clips to be at 24 frames per second. Now, if you've got a clip which was filmed at a high frame rate, but you only want parts of it to be slow motion, then you don't want that. You need to change it individually. So that's when you make this decision here. If you want all of all of the clips to be in slow motion, you click change. And if you want to do it manually, you click on don't change. I'll show you. If I click on change, I'm going to head to my timeline. And I'm going to grab this video and add it to my timeline. Now this, I know, is only a short clip, but as you can see, it looks really long, and that's because it's extended it to be in slow motion. So if I play this back at regular speed, that's going slower than usual. That's actually in slow motion. But sometimes you don't want that. So I've just recreated this project, but this time I've clicked on Don't Change. So if I grab that footage and show it down here, you can see it's much faster because that's playing at 100% speed, not in slow motion. Now that's fine because what you can do is actually change the frame rate individually. So in your media pool here, you can right click on a video clip and then click on clip attributes. And as you can see here, you've got video frame rate. Now this is automatically trying to figure it out, but if we click on the drop down, 
you've got a selection of frame rates that you can select. So if I select 24 and then click on OK, and I can just drag this down, add it, and there you go. It's back in slow motion. So you can do that individually with your high frame rate footage. Right click, clip attributes, and change the frame rate to match that of your project. Let's pretend that you don't want the whole clip to be in slow motion, you just want parts of it. If I grab this one here, I'm going to drag this onto my timeline, and hit play, and as you can see, this is in real time. Now if you right click on the clip within the timeline, we can go to change clip speed. Now from here, you need to set a speed. Now currently, it's at 100%. Now at this point, you need to know what percentage to play your footage back at to meet your base or your project frame rate. Now mine's 120 frames per second, my base is 24 frames per second. So all I need to do is do 24 divided by 120, which gives me 0.2, which as a percentage is 20%. So I can put 20%, hit change. Now if I make this longer, you can see, hit play. Now that's in slow motion. And you can do that for different elements of the clip. So if I just break this up, I'm going to go back to this section, change clip speed, put that back to 100 and change. And then if I hit play, it's slow motion here. And as soon as it hops to the second clip, it goes back to real time. So yeah, that's slow motion. Hopefully you found that video useful. It's a really cool thing to be able to do and it's a nice additional tool to have in your arsenal. Fortunately, DaVinci Resolve, as always, makes it really easy to do. In another of my five minute videos, we're gonna have a look at speed ramps, so keep your eye out for that. Now, if you're a newbie around here, like, comment, subscribe, because I try and do these videos every week. I try and be consistent, it doesn't always happen, but there you go. Have a wonderful new year, all. I'll be posting loads more videos over the next couple of days. I wanna get some stuff out while I've got time off work. Have a good one, folks. See you later.